And this is quick ball, and again, Scotland the stretch, a huge thump coming in, and Martin Williams, but he's up, and he's fine. Simon Webster isn't. Simon Webster stayed down, I think he's knocked himself out. Just watch. He has a look, he's got to pull out, and then he walks straight into the knee. Oh dear. Gatlin, he's not happy with Simon Webster, who's down on his knees and being sick. Yeah, he's been sick on Cut. his knees there, so... I want him off. Thank you very much, all right? Beric Barnes has announced an immediate and indefinite break from the game in an attempt to fully recover from the lingering after effects of concussion. <coughs> now they're calling it uh, footballer's migraine. Beric was heavily concussed against the Reds in round two and he hasn't been 100% fit since. I congratulate him on his call. It was a yeah. great call, gutsy call. He's, he's done it well. Well done, Beric. Yeah. And a courageous call too, considering what's coming, Tri-Nations and the World Cup consideration he may well be uh, in a sense ruling himself out of the World Cup although that's yet to be decided mm. um, Elton Flatley's career was ended by concussion Leon McDonald as well uh, for this for the same reason can I um, just the concerns and the emotions that Beric Barnes would be going through yeah I think the way he individually and the Waratahs and everyone associated with it, the medical staff have handled it has been outstanding you can see a lot of sporting organizations gloss over incidents like this at the expense of what's best for the team this is an individual. Rugby is a small element of your life. You know, life is, is forever, effectively, until the big man calls you upstairs. And I think Beric's got a lot to contribute to rugby, but he's also got a lot to contribute as an individual. And I think, first and foremost, his health is most important. So hopefully he gets back for the Wallabies at the end of the year, but just get, him, get himself well.